everybody, it's ALB here and today we are doing a really interesting faux hawk kind of updo thing. Very eloquent today. It's basically this and if you want to know how to do it, you should probably just keep watching. I guess? I don't... Uh. Basically I did uh, this hair for a photo shoot and everybody was like, do a tutorial! And I was like, Okay, because I love you guys, so here it is! Woohoo! Okay, so to start, you're gonna wanna already have your hair curled. It's kinda like a must-do for this look just because it makes it makes doing this look so much easier. How you get the curls, meh, uh, it doesn't really matter. You could, you know, do curls with a flat iron, a curling iron, you could use curl formers, you could do rollers, it doesn't really matter so long as your hair is curly. I just did wet set pin curls, which is basically how I always curl my hair these days because then there's no heat. I just do it the night before and then in the morning I take it out and it's like kaboosh curls and I get lots of volume and I don't know, I just like it. Things you need for this look. A comb, a hairbrush, mine is a tangle tamer from Sally's because I'm like really all about these kinds of brushes. I don't know what it is, I'm just obsessed. And they're really weird. I've personally hooked like a whole bunch of my friends on these weird brushes. I just really like them. I don't know why. And just just a crap ton of bobby pins. I can't really say how many. Maybe 12, maybe 86. It depends on how much hair you have. Uh, I use white bobby pins, which are, I think they're made for old ladies. I'm an old lady, so I'm just doing it. If you have light colored hair though, you should totally try them. I really like them. The kind of bobby pins that I really like are these little, they're like half size ones. Like this is a full size bobby pin. These are the size that I like. They're just a little bit smaller. You probably can barely tell the difference. I don't know, I just like that size. Oh and you also need hairspray of your choice. I always use Got To Be Sexy. This is like a new weird packaging though. I don't know why or when they did this. I went to get hairspray the other day and that's the new packaging and I was like, I don't care for this. So you're going to start with like brushing through your curls, at least in the front. And when you are curling your hair again, I don't know how you want to do that, that's your call, whatever works best for your hair, make sure that you're curling away from your face. Like, I don't know if you can tell, all of the curls are like in a Simba lion's mane away from my face. So the next thing, and I have a mirror right here, that's why I keep looking down here. Don't be worrying about what's happening down here, alright? Just, just, just believe and trust. Disney magic. The first thing is you want to look at like your face and kind of figure out, because we're kind of going for like a faux hawk type thing. So like, you don't want it to be too skinny. I usually go by like where the arch of your eyebrows kind of sits. And also, I have calyx. I don't know if you can tell. I have like these funny little cowlicks on either side of my hairline. So I always just kind of follow those. So I'm just gonna separate the hair at that point. And just comb it over, get rid of that. That part's not your friend for right now. We're gonna start pulling this part back. So with this comb, I'm gonna start trying to make this look slick. Like I just licked my hand and ran it through here. And still keeping this hand on here. I'm not, I'm not pinning anything yet. We're just playing. Don't worry about it. I'm going to take my hairspray. Really light. And just comb again. And still keeping this separated. So once you're happy with this side, again, this is just like slicked back on my head. You can start when it's at the back of your head. You can start putting a couple pins back here. Now, here's a fun tip if you didn't know, and if you did, you're going to be like, wah, wah, I already knew that, Ange. But some of you maybe don't, so whatever. When you're bobby pinning, Make sure that the bumpy side of the bobby pin, because you know how some one side's like straight and one side's like bumpy, make sure the bumpy side is the part that's touching closest to your scalp, because that's the grippy part. And 
I'm, I'm trying to put most of the bobby pins more towards the back of my head because we were going to just cover all that junk up with hair. It's going to be an illusion. An optical illusion. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the... Ooh, I have hair in my eyelash. The exact same thing on the other side. Try and figure out at what point that may be. So this is kind of annoying because this part's going to be like in your face offy, but it's like whatever. And now we're going to use that exact same method that we already used. And just get that out of the way. Don't want these hairs mixing. These hairs are Romeo and Juliet and they are not allowed to talk to each other. It's very romantic. My hair? My hair is quite the tale. My hair story will be taught in high schools around the world. I get like tons of little baby hairs. Like, oh, small baby. No baby hairs. Not today. Can't really see what I'm doing, so it's probably fine though. It'll be fine. I like to tell myself that everybody opens the bobby pin up with their teeth, but I don't think that that's true. But that's what I tell myself so I don't feel like a weirdo about it. Pew! Pew! Alright, so we have either side pinned, both sides. So now I have this big ol' like what the heck is happening up here. I kind of just hold it gently, this little front part here. Just a little brush, just a little brush through it. And kind of just start to just squish it just a little bit. I don't know, and see, this is separating on its own, and I'm just like, well, that's how it's going to be now. It's my life strategy and my hair strategy. If it just starts, if things start going a certain way, just go with it. It's, it's probably meant to be like that. So when you kind of are getting it to a shape that maybe you are happy with, do the old classic. Hit it with a spray. Hit it with some pins. You can't go wrong. So I'm kind of trying to make like a little, little quaff right up here. And I kind of like how that is doing that. So... Just gonna put a pin in it. Here's from the side, like what's happening. Ooh, hair. Get off of me. You don't pay rent here, you don't get to stay. So, this is just kinda happening here. I'm gonna take some more curls that have fallen randomly amongst my hair and just start kind of doing the same thing like maybe you could run a little bit of a comb through it lightly you don't want to pull out what you've already done and just start pinning them in a way that they might look good I'm very professional pin it in a way that it looks good helpful good job Ange you did a hair tutorial but really though, like we're just trying to create like this kind of volume type thing on top here. <laughs> what is happening over here? I have this little like cluster. So as you can see, all that pinning we did on the side here is now covered. Which is cool because then it looks all profession junk. Lots of hairspray. Because why not? We don't need lung capacity. Personal health is for weirdos. We don't need that. God, no. This is the best part about the fact that you guys always want hair tutorials from me. And my whole strategy is just hoping for the best. Constantly hoping for the best. All of my hairdos are done on a hope and a prayer. Like, it'll be okay. It's probably fine. And then, when you're pretty much done, I take the rest of my hair that most of it's down, and I like to put it on either sides because I think that looks pretty badass. This is kind of almost like 90s in a way. It's like a 90s grunge kind of. I don't know. I'm just trying to justify what's happened here. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically it. It's a pretty simple hair design. It's you could easily do this in the morning for school or for work or whatever and you'll look like it's total badass. Don't you just want to constantly intimidate your peers and friends and family? I sure do. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. My heart goes out to you. I love you so much, and I will see you very soon. Bye!
Oh, and subscribe if you haven't. You sure want more of this. Yeah, this is probably over.